Well, guys, as you can see, I was blessed to be able to see some elk. It started out with two to six elk right in front of me, and it just turned into something way more. This is why I love my life. It's so awesome to be out and to see God's handiwork and to be surrounded by them. My hunt for deer um, never manifested, but I was literally surrounded by elk for two hours. And if you could see the tree that I was standing behind, uh, the next day we had gone out and I looked at the tree and just started laughing. It is a Charlie Brown Christmas tree, uh, just very holy. Um, the key is to not have odor when you're out in the wilds and to not have a lot of smells, to be as quiet and as still as possible and to break up your uh, body outline. So as a result of being quiet there, I stood for two hours, 10 feet away from the blind watching what ended up being a herd of 20 to 30 elk and I mean literally surrounding me they were behind me they were to the left of me they were directly in front of me they were to my right and they were as close as 200 yards 150 yards and it progressed that there were some as close to me as 50 yards all I heard was constant things breaking as they were coming out of the tall timber all around me and chewing. Then, as if that wasn't good enough, the ground fog started moving in, and it was just an amazing, amazing hunt. Most people wouldn't want to stand in the same place for two hours, but for me, it was very renewing um, and just really amazing. I, I love opportunities like that. Sure, it would have been nice if a nice buck would have uh, walked up in between them all, but it was just a really awesome time to be able to watch them and and just to be able to have them that close. Quite amazing. There's some up in the field uh, straight out there. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. And to be able to take that all in and just to be able to enjoy such opportunities really makes me appreciate my life. And like I said, they were breaking the timber all over the place. There were some behind me there. And just what a beautiful view and what scenery to be able to take in. And then this cow steps in. She was quite tempting. She was very, very huge. And she spent most of the time in front of me uh, broadside. So I'm hoping in muzzleloader season I have the opportunity to see some of these elk again. Uh, previously during the cow season, I saw them two days before and two days after, but not during. But you can see how close they were to me. It was just amazing, truly amazing. She's massive. She's absolutely massive. <laughs> well, guys, these are the opportunities that you want to breathe and take time to take in. Had I just busted up to that blind, I would have never had the opportunity to see all this and to have these elk coming in so close to me. I mean, that's not zoomed in. They're right there. It's just awesome. Just awesome. Really neat night. Really neat night out hunting. So, like I've told you guys before, I encourage you guys to get out, teach your children how to hunt. You know, these opportunities like this are amazing just to regroup and de-stress from our crazy world. Well, guys, it was an 